Hammer one. We're going in. Back us up. Ready for deployment. And ammo and weapons upgrades are available. Welcome back to Air Squad On Demand, I'm Kristen. And I'm Jake. And today we're reviewing the Wind Gun 708 Revolver, which you can find on our website for $109.99. Yeah, so this is a CO2 revolver, uh, with the cartridge actually stored right there in the, uh, in the grip. And it's the version that actually has a two and a half inch barrel. Now, out of all the ones that we carry uh, between the four and six inch models, I don't know, I think this one's my favorite. Um, it has the best balance, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, it's got a great weight. Um, very, very comfortable. I'm not even a fan of revolvers, but I would totally buy this. Uh, I feel like this one, for some reason, feels the most realistic out of any of the uh, revolvers that we've used. The weight to it is unbelievable. It really yeah. has a solid weight to it. Yeah. For sure. So it does come with six shells and a speed loader, and you can also order extra shells on our site for $9.99, which you probably want to do. Uh, it's also shooting at about 400 to 430 feet per second, so make sure you watch your distance. It's, it's packing a little heat. Yeah. Now the uh, the sights are adjustable, or I'm sorry, the rear sight's adjustable, and it also has the ability to take a rail on top, which is also included. So if you want to put a, a dot sight on there, or I don't know, I've seen guys mount um, you know, low low zoom uh, magnification sights on there as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's definitely an option. Uh, I don't think it's really, I don't know, the uh, larger versions I don't find them to be, you know, accurate beyond, I don't know, say 50 feet. So, I don't really, you know, with only two inches that you're working with, I really can't, you can't expect much more than that either. So, but still, I don't know, it's a, it's a great novelty and there's a use for pretty much, there's a purpose for every airsoft gun out there. Um, you can, you know, Anyone can find a good use for this for this uh, Absolutely. pistol. Absolutely, definitely be a good backup definitely. to have on the field. But if you do get one, make sure that you have a holster that can handle the weight. It, like we said earlier, it does have a little weight to it, so don't get a cheap holster. You might end up dropping it. I would totally buy one like a Bianchi holster, like yeah. an actual like police or like yeah. go to like a police uniform store mm -hmm. and spend the money on like a nice leather holster for something like yeah, this. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's going to cost about the same amount as the gun itself, yeah, but I don't but know. It'd be worth it in the long run, yeah. I think. But yeah, I don't know. I uh, I have to say, it might not always be the most practical. It's not probably going to be the most accurate with the short barrel. But it is a lot of fun. It's super loud, and it really I don't know. I really I dig it. Yeah. I dig. Good. Yeah. Good. So as you can see, it's shooting pretty fast for a pistol. Again, it's just because it's using CO2. Um, so it's definitely going to keep you a lot, keep you off of a lot of indoor, uh, indoor playing fields. Uh, you, maybe even off some uh, outdoor playing fields as well. So that's something you probably want to take into consideration if you're looking at this gun. All right, so we're going to be running the shooting course with our Snub Nose revolver uh, now. It has an incredibly short barrel, no hop-up adjustment, and it's being <laughs> powered by CO2, so it's got an incredibly high velocity, and absolutely nothing to stabilize your rounds other, other than their own weight. So the targets are gonna be pretty close. Um, again, this is I would consider this to be more of a backup uh, than anything else. In fact, I'd probably have it a backup for my already semi-automatic pistol. So uh, that's something I would, take, I would definitely take into consideration when running with one of these. Also reloading as well. So, let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna give it four and a half out of five. Um, it's got a great, um, great feel to it. It's I don't know. It, I don't know. It's not very. It's not very practical for me. I would probably never 
I don't know. I don't think I could ever add this to anything I would actually use. It'd be more like a collector's item than anything else, and that's really not enough for me to purchase something, I suppose. But for what you're getting, as far as uh, I don't know, as far as the amount of uh, power that you're getting in a, such a such a compact size, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, it's definitely it definitely has its value. Uh, I, I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna say four and a half out of five, just because I really like the feel of it. I really like shooting it. I like how loud it is. It gives just a... It feels more authentic to me than a lot of airsoft guns do when I shoot yeah. it. Just the way the... I can't really explain. Just the balance and the weight really gives it a little extra something. And like I said earlier, maybe not the most practical to have on you, mm -hmm. but I think it's fun. I think it, you know, I think it look pretty cool popping one out on the field. <laughs> out of your purse. <laughs> out of my purse, yeah, where I keep all the rest of my guns. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for tuning in to Air Spot On Demand. I'm Kristen. And I'm Jake. And we'll see you next time.